it ain't singled out to, to whatever to just one right and so it's not like it's a new phenomenon where you got these men dating outside of race it's just certain men are in a better position to have their um ability to choose and select my whole thing is i will say this mr t if two women treated you exactly the same everything you wanted and one was white and one was black and they did everything on par with one another then are are you not caring and saying hey it don't matter which one i have or would you still show preference towards the black woman well i would because that's my preference though what it, my preference is to date and to deal with the black woman i don't really have an attraction to somebody of another race i i just don't that's but that's me and i don't think a see, white that's man, the problem we have listen, hold on you know what I'm i don't think a white man would be wrong for saying that he don't have an attraction or anything towards somebody of a different race other than a white woman I don't, and he I would think be called racist out of that. they would call him racist <laughs> he, would, he definitely would be called racist because he, he said would be called racist let's be honest like yeah. black women but so what you and call mr because TV i can say it i like think this. he have the right to say it also huh so mr t you ain't, you ain't never stuck your chocolate bar in no marshmallow fluff <laughs> Tell the hey, truth, the devil. I'm, listen, I'm not on trial here. <laughs> it's a simple question, Mr. T. Uh, it I can be yes fifth. or no. I plead the fifth. The fifth. Well, you don't drink. We got so Dr. Umar who Johnson don't up drink, here, right? <laughs> this is my whole thing, Mr. Life. Anybody who doesn't drink shouldn't be able to. Thanks for watching, and good night, bitches. Yeah, boy.